This is the OnePlus 10R disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at the SIM tray. Next, we need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. On the other side, there's some graphite film to help transfer heat. Now there are 17 Phillips screws that need to be removed. Next, we need to place a plastic pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen, and then run it along the edges to pop off the catches. Now the back housing can be lifted up from the bottom to the top. And then we can disconnect the battery cable. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. The back housing is made of plastic. The LED flash and light sensor is located here, and the NFC antenna is located next to it. Taking a look at the other side, there are numerous antenna flex cables around the border of the back housing, and there's a large graphite film to help transfer heat. There's a white and black coaxial cable on the right side of the board that needs to be disconnected by popping them off. Now there's some graphite film over the earpiece and the front facing camera connector that need to be peeled off. Here's a better look at the 16 megapixel front facing camera. There's one more coaxial cable on the left side of the board that needs to be disconnected. And then there's a single Phillips screw holding on the main board that needs to be removed. Now the main board can be lifted up and removed. Taking a better look at the main board, there's a 50 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro lens. The primary camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone located on the top corner, a white liquid damage indicator sticker above the main camera, some copper tape over the front shields, and rubber gaskets around the connectors. There's more copper tape on the back shields, as well as some thermal paste. Once the copper tape is peeled back, we can see thermal pads on top of these chips, as well as some thermal paste on the processor. Here's a better look with the thermal paste and thermal pads removed. Next, the flex cable for the screen, these two flex cables, the flex cable for the fingerprint reader, as well as the two other end of the coaxial cable need to be disconnected from the subboard. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. The primary microphone is located underneath the shield. There are rubber gaskets around the connectors. And there's a liquid damage indicator sticker on the subboard. The SIM reader is located on the back. If you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, as well as the screws in the back housing. And then you'd have to disconnect all the flex cables on the subboard and remove the subboard giving you access to the flex cable for the screen. At that point, you heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive and reapply your new screen, making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame, and then you would reassemble the phone. Now the bottom speaker can be lifted up and removed. There's some more graphite film on the bottom speaker, and there's a mesh filter over the speaker opening. 
In order to remove the battery, there are pull tabs provided to help us pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the dual cell battery, which are 2,500 milliamp hours each. Once the battery is removed and the adhesive pouch for the battery is peeled off, we can see the flex cable for the charger port and this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard. Here's a better look at the charger port. And there's a red rubber gasket around the charger port itself. Once all the flex cables are peeled off, we have a better look at this vapor chamber which sits underneath the battery and runs along underneath the motherboard. Moving on, the x-axis vibrator motor is located on the bottom and it's held down with some adhesive. The same goes for the fingerprint reader. There's an antenna board on the bottom corner. The flex cable for the power button is on this side and the flex cable for the volume keys is on the other. The proximity sensor board is located on the top as well as the earpiece speaker and there's some more graphite film on the frame. For the repairability score, I give this phone a 5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything is back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.